two new things. We have a 78 Stingray. Uh, this thing is completely stock. I took it apart. It has the epoxy preamp. The pots are dated 77. The body is dated 77 and the neck is dated 78. So let's talk about what this thing does. Uh, first off, let's take a look at it. As you can see here, it is a standard Stingray non-contoured body. Okay, you can see the you can see the striations in the ash. This thing weighs 10.8 pounds. I measured it on the scale. Also, you see there's the three bolt plate battery compartment. Let's take a look at the neck here. It's pretty clean. There's uh, not a lot of marks. There's nothing on the neck that would uh, catch your hand. There's nothing under a little dirt. I think there's one little spot in the lacquer right there, but it's nothing major. Um, again, it looks like it's sat on a music stand or hung from the headstock like this, because there's two marks up here. And then, of course, there's a little chip on the front. Anyway, so let's see what this thing does. All right, so basically, this is your two-band original Stingray. So let's start from zero. Number one, Trace Elliott combo amp set flat, like always, every time I do one of these. If I turn all this stuff down, turn the volume up, okay, that's with the EQs both down. All right, so I'm going to roll in the bass, and the way that I do this, there's all the bass rolled all the way up. Okay, sounds pretty standard. I usually roll this thing about half. Okay, if I roll it all the way up, it gets pretty tinny. That's what a Stingray does. That is the original Stingray sound. The mutes all function. I've got them all cranked down so that I'm not getting into the strings with the mutes. These are Ken Smith, I believe, strings based on the purple uh, silk. Basically, this thing is a one owner bass. It has the original tweed case that came with it. Um, it doesn't have a lot of player wear on the body. There's not a lot of nicks and dings. There's a couple little things, but overall this was a pretty well cared for instrument and it has a pretty good amount of fret life left. Uh, no real issues there. Anyway, a um, couple little marks here and there because these are steels that came with it. So my best case scenario would be to lose the steels and put some nickels on there and the frets will be handled. Truss rod works well. Everything flattens out. It's got the micro tilt in the back. That works. It is what it is. So here it is, 178 Stingray. Hope you all are well.